Happy New Year. Um, okay, so homesick is actually flagged as mature, and I don't know if I can continue reading this on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to see, but if it gets really bad where I have to blur, I have to beep out all the cuss word, uh, I it will be on Patreon. Um, maybe for free uh, for people who don't pledge, I don't know, but I might go that route since it's on the mature side. Let's see. I'm gonna see, okay? I'm gonna say all the cuss word and try to blur as much as I can, but we're gonna test it out, okay? Huh. Uh, uh, huh? Quit following me, Tomaha. How do you know it was me? You're the only one I know with the heaviest footsteps. Anyone can hear you from miles away. Uh, uh Am I really that loud? Your voice is loud too. Have I always been a liability? Dude, I'm joking. Come on, unless you want to hide there forever. Yeah, right behind you. Homesick. So, now that Rain's back, are you and her okay? Define okay. Uh, yeah, I figured you guys haven't really talked about things. Uh, oh my god, what am I even saying? Forget I said anything. This is awkward. Oh. Uh, I know about Rain. I saw everything. Uh, what did you see? The way Rain torn that, torn that guy apart. The rage in her vice. While watching her devour him, it wasn't a pleasant sight. Were, were you scared? After a while, you kind of get desensitized by everything around you, but this one felt different. Instead of rooting for the predator, I felt scared for the prey. Rain is not a predator. She fought for us, saved you an ogre. Rain won't hurt anyone unless she's given no other choice. So take that back. You don't think I don't know that? Then why are you calling her a predator? I'm just giving you an idea of how I felt. I don't really think she's a monster if that's what you think I'm implying. Uh, of course not. Why would you think I would think you're implying that I thought you were implying when I'm not really thinking that at all? You're contradicting yourself. I'm sorry, Japanese is my first language. So, that literally has nothing to do with you being... Y you know what, forget it. I sound smarter in Japanese, I promise. What about you? What about me? Go. Are you scared of her? <gasps> I was at first, thinking on how I always wondered why Rain seemed different. Now, it makes so much sense. The rain I knew before is still there. The same kind-hearted, determined, selfless girl I know since I was seven. And that alone comforts me. Did you tell her yet about your history together? I will. Soon. Whenever people say something like that, it makes me really sad because, one, maybe she will be able to tell her. Or something bad going to happen soon where they won't have the chance to even talk about that. So every time I see that type of dialogue, I was like, oh no, something bad, bad, bad about to happen. When the time is right. <sighs> Ugh. You're anxious. What's wrong? You're great at reading my mind. Why not try that? I'd rather you tell me. I just... I don't feel great about everything right now. As much as I trust Sam and Tomaha, I don't want them to come with me. And it's not because I don't think they're capable of protecting themselves. These people we're facing are dangerous and unpredictable. If we took one down... That's different. We were lucky. 
what part of that was luck? Rain. We took him down with our two, own two hands. If we were really lucky, none of this should be happening to us. But that's not the case here. Your friends know what they're signing up for. And they're willing to do that what it takes to save someone. Why can't you just let them? That's the problem, isn't it? They're too important to me. What if things go wrong? What if... Rain. Things can't always go the way you want them to. That's just how the world works. The only thing, only thing you can do is learn to accept it. But if you still find yourself unable to do that, then you're not ready at all. He's, he's waking up. Should we switch? Wait until I say so. Oh, why am I here? Let me go. I can't do that. What do you want from me? Tell me where your people are and I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Just please don't hurt me like you did the last time. Uh, well, that was easier than I expected. Is he crying already? I'm surprised too. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go to the next one. So far, it's not too bad. Tell me where your people are and I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Just please don't hurt me like you did the last time. Uh, well, that was easier than I expected. Is he crying already? Uh, all right. I'm listening. Homesick. Okay. Surgery. Is a cure even possible? Anything's possible. If an apocalypse infested by mercy is possible, surely a cure is possible too. Why do you think we've been trying so hard to create an antidote? All these experiments, these people's sacrifices, we can't let it go to waste. Aren't you excited to go back to being human again? Excited? Not really. But if a cure is really possible, then that's something worth looking forward to. <laughs> Adon was a doctor. When the world fell apart, he built a small community of people who were willing to help him create an antidote to cure the world. A cure. He needed test subjects, people like us, to experiment on. That's why they took Kenny. But Raven, what about him? Why did they take him too? He's infected. Duh. Huh? Don't lie to me. If he was, I would have sensed it. Then it's probably your problem, not mine, since I worked alongside him before. It's crazy that you've been with him for days and couldn't tell he was infected. How does it feel to feel stupid? Shut up. Uh, okay, okay, I'm shut. Jeez, were you always this annoying? If you let me go, I'll stop. But then again, he was an act for hiding his identity. It's one of his many abilities, so I don't blame you. And here I thought he was the more level-headed one of the three. But he's just annoying wuss. What that, does that mean you're, you people have been experimenting on a countless others against their will? If it means curing us and the whole damn world, why the hell not? Your people kidnapped my friend, and I'm gonna get him back whether you like it, they like it or not. And you're going to take me to them. Not a problem. As long as you don't torture me or do anything weird, then I'm all good. Besides, you'll only benefit them when you, we get there. I don't like that guy. Same. No wonder he tasted awful. Didn't need to know that. Weird comment. Sorry. A doctor gathering people to help create a cure for him by kidnapping people and experimenting on them? That doesn't sound right. Hmm. He could be scheming something. Oh. Tomha, Sam, any luck? It's ready. What about you, the guy? He's awake and surprisingly willing to cooperate with us. 
You sure he's not taking us to a trap? He's the only one that can take us to Kenny, so we'll just have to take his word for it. I'll go get Ogre. Uh -uh. Rain, what did the guy say? They've been creating a cure, experimenting on the infected and killing many in the process. Are you serious? What if they take you? They can try, but they won't. We're getting Kenny back, I promise. Mm. By the way, what are the goggles for? Oh, Val gave them to all of us. Wearing these helps prevent making accidental eye contact with Mercs. See? They can, har they can hardly see my eyes. You'll need a pair just in case. Never mind. This is smart. What other functions do they have? None. They're just ordinary tinted goggles. Oh. Uh. <sighs> you did good back there, Ogre. But don't you ever do that shit ever again. Do you hear me? You have to wake up and promise me, okay? I'll be waiting. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if I should mark this as, you know, for mature on YouTube, but let's see. This two episode been safe, so I think we're good so far. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to support me, I do have all my reads on patreon.com slash ckt chaotic. Bye!